Oh man, it's awesome to see Huey finally come to his senses this episode. Although, I think we saw a little bit more of him than we needed to. Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for The Boys. This one is my review for this week's episode of Season 3 of The Boys. This is for Episode 7, the penultimate episode titled, Here Comes a Candle to Light You to Bed. Alright guys, this is going to be doing another video for today. This one's going to be doing another video for the boys. This one is going to be doing my weekly review for this week's episode of Season 3 of the boys. This is for Episode 7, the penultimate episode. So, next week is the season finale. Next week is the final episode of Season 3 of the boys. And, um... After sitting on this episode for a little while, this episode came out uh, late last night, uh, which I did watch, so it's been a little while now since I've seen the episode. Um... I like the episode, I do, but I also don't, to be honest, guys. Um, I I do have my share of problems with this episode, I, I really do, and um, I do have my share of positives, you know what I mean? It's it, it's definitely a mixed bag type episode for me. Um, here's what I'd say about it. I really enjoyed a lot of what they did with Vought. I really enjoyed a lot of what they did with Homelander, as usual, and I guess we'll kind of go into that first, and then we'll get into some of the stuff that... I didn't exactly like so let's talk about the stuff we do like first uh this episode was incredible when it comes to homelander and everything with him he's kind of freaking out over soldier boy and stuff he's kind of panicking in all these interviews and they're trying to cover up what starlight said last episode right and we do also get a quick peek at a train in this one uh which it sounds like uh they took blue hearts uh, or blue hawks hearts and put it in his body so it sounds like A-Train will be able to run again. So that's that's really cool. Um, so we do get to see him kind of recover. And Homelander in this one, he kind of is freaking out. You know, he's, he's kind of waiting for an attack. He's kind of waiting for a war. And you do have Nadia that kind of confronts him in this one, which, um, you know, she's kind of like asking him, like, you know, what's next? Like that sort of thing. Like, you know, basically just kind of plotting with him, I guess, because Nadia obviously is, is another villain on this show. Uh, but you do have Starlight in this one, which I found to be really interesting. She goes into uh, Vought, right? She goes to get a Compound V because Kumiko wants to bring her powers back because of how intense everything is, right? So Starlight goes in there. Homelander runs into her as she's walking out, and he threatens her, and he tells her what she's going to do, and we find out that Starlight, the entire conversation, was recording it on her phone. My God, Starlight, that was incredible. And honestly, I love the reaction when Homelander finds out that he was like being recorded the entire time. It's like, we don't talk. We don't record during work. We don't record during meetings. We don't do it. Elevator shuts. I'm like, oh, damn. So that was good. That was really good. She got him good on that one. And there's full evidence right there that Homelander's a psychopath. I mean, it's literally right there. So homelander any respect that he has from the people after that starlight just completely screwed him over absolutely and um that was just absolutely insane and the other thing that we do see from Vod in this one is mave uh we do see her captured uh we don't see much of her though she's like there for like one scene and she basically tells homelander that you know she's happy that Homelander is, um, that, you know, Homelander came to see her, and this is one of her favorite days ever on Earth, because she got to see him scared, so that was a pretty cool line back at him, and, um, all that stuff was fantastic. Now, let's talk about the stuff I didn't like this episode now, okay, because this episode's a bit of a mixed bag for me. Black Noir, um, oh man, I don't know what they were trying to do with him, I really don't, like, like I said, the backstory with the animated characters finding out what happened to Soldier Boy and seeing what Soldier Boy did to him and why he wants to get revenge, stellar stuff. But here's the problem. Why would you make it an animated thing? Honestly, this, this is what I would do to make it better, okay? I would have him, he'd be in the chair, you would have Soldier Boy that would show up randomly and it would be like, what the heck? What is Soldier Boy doing here? Oh my God, what's going to happen? Is he going to attack him, right? You know, you'd be freaking out at first. And he sits down and you slowly figure out that Soldier Boy really isn't here. It's just in his mind, right? And Soldier Boy would tell him and remind him of what he did to Black Noir, what he did to his face, what he did, you know, to him during that attack. And he would taunt him. He'd be like, Huh, you you never grew up. Ah, you never did. Ah, uh, whatever. Yeah, you see that that video on the screen there? 
Yeah, that's because that's because you didn't do your job. That's because you didn't stand up to me. Now, what are you going to do now? You're just going to cry under that mask of yours? You're just going to cry and no one's going to see it? No way, you know? Something like that would have been interesting. But instead, we've got these, like, animated characters, like, talking to him the whole time. Don't worry, we're still on your side. I know Boys is a bizarre show sometimes, but I can't even say I like that scene. It was just frustrating. So, not my scene at all, to be honest. And... Well, let's talk about the biggest flaw with the episode, which is the only other thing I haven't mentioned yet. Butcher. For God's sakes, Butcher. Starlight finds out in this one that the Compound V, you can't take too much of it because it'll turn your brain to mush. So they go out there with Soldier Boy. Huey ends up leaving Butcher after they run into an explosion. He leaves Butcher just laying there in the grass, basically. He goes with Soldier Boy. He tries to protect uh, Mindstorm, and he tries to get Mindstorm to basically save Butcher. And Soldier Boy runs, in, uh, runs into them. Soldier Boy kills Mindstorm, which I liked. I liked that scene. But then Butcher wakes up from these, like, flashback dream sequences with his father, which I, I liked. You know, it was cool backstory for him. And he then decides that even though he knows from Starlight now that, he's, you know, that this Compound V doesn't work, He's still going to stay on, on the same side as Soldier Boy. And he's going to let Huey continue to take the Compound V anyway. I mean, even though knowing full well what it does to him. Butcher is, is a hypocrite in this one. I'm sorry. He's a hypocrite. And that sucks because I love Butcher, right? I love the character. But I can actually say for the first time he pissed me off. Like, in a terrible way. The writing is terrible this episode for him. So, I don't know, you know, that's, that's, and that's a lot of, you know, what it's about. Now, let's talk about the ending of the episode, where basically, we have Soldier Boy, the contacts Homelander, and I remember at first, I was like, what the hell is this about? And you find out at the end of the episode, that apparently, because obviously Soldier Boy's been around since the 1980s, right? And even back then, he was, you know, kind of older, right? So, he hasn't aged at all, right? We know that. But we find out, and it's a pretty big bombshell for the finale, that apparently he had a kid. And that kid is Homelander. Wow. Okay. So, we have father and son now on the same team? Oh my god. Honestly, that is a crazy reveal. I would have never predicted that. Honestly, you know, they focus so much on how much of Soldier Boy and Homelander have a rivalry going last episode that that was the last thing that ever crossed my mind. The fact that that's Homelander's father speaks volumes because of how messed up Soldier Boy is. But at the same time, what a incredible twist. So, see what I'm saying? There's a lot of things I like. And then Butcher pisses me off. The Black Noir stuff pisses me off. But then I love the stuff with Homelander. And I love the stuff with Soldier Boy, you know? So it's like, I'm going to sit at like a 7, 7.5 this episode, you know? It's pretty good, but it has a lot of issues at the same time. It's not exactly anywhere near as good as the other episodes this season. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but, you know, it, it had its moments, I'll say. And I am excited for the finale. I just, I hope it's not, it, not more frustrating stuff. So, anyway, let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this episode of The Boys. That is it. That is my thoughts. Make sure to also check out my Stranger Things review, which also came out recently today. And that is it for this video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Write your comments in the comment section below. And, of course, guys, if you're new here, make sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos for The Boys. Follow Dan's Walking Reviews. So come, guys. And, of course, I'll see you guys really soon for another video for The Boys. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. And peace out.